Now, when I was re-watching the campaign trailer, as you do as a Halo fan, I saw this. That was a jump cut within Halo Infinite's cutscenes, which are not supposed to have jump cuts. So then it started making me think, what are the other things I might have missed within this campaign trailer? So today I put together a 14 things you might have missed from this trailer. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. <laughs> So now that the dust has settled, we've had time to sit down, review, the community has time to look over and kind of digest everything about this campaign trailer. So in this video, I wanted to do a thorough analytical deep dive into this trailer to point out things that might have gone under the radar. So if you guys like these kind of deep dive analytical videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as I ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So the main purpose of this campaign trailer was really just to showcase the new graphics and visual art style that they've implemented with Halo Infinite over the year to long delay. But there were some interesting gameplay hints within this trailer that I wanted to showcase. So the first thing here is one, if you very first thing you look at, you just look at the foliage. You're like, wow, this foliage looks amazing. The variation, the depth, the coloring, fantastic. But you take a look at the lower right, that's definitely like a banished leg that's just laying there on the ground. So to me, this kind of indicates that you actually fought for this base, won it over, and now it's probably yours. Later, we'll showcase a visual key that says, yes, this is pretty much what that's exactly what happened. But then the same scene in the upper left, you see this ship that's kind of floating over the map. This is a ship that we've seen recurring throughout many screenshots of Halo Infinite. And this is our first time seeing it within a live video. The interesting thing is that we see another ship that looks very similar in the far distance towards the end of this campaign map reveal. Making me think that this might be some kind of repeatable gameplay loop that's going to be involved with these ships. Initially, I thought it was going to be like Eshram's boss battle ship thing, but this seems to be like a reoccurring thing. Next on this platform shot, I want to showcase four separate things that really stand out to me when it comes to this image. One on the far right is kind of like a weapons bench of some sort. Um, we do know that these bases are going to be in the campaign. You do earn and then you'll be able to trade out your loadouts what you have within the game. So you can trade out like your grenades, your weapons, maybe your equipment as well. And that workbench looks to be maybe one of those places you would do just that or maybe just for the weapons. So if you wanted to load out with a battle rifle or an AR, maybe a sidekick or probably some combination of two weapons that you can probably find without the world of Zeta Halo, that's where you would go do it. Just to the left of that, you see a mongoose, but just to the left of that as well, it seems to be a console with an NPC interacting with that console. So this is kind of like one extra thing where I think this would be a way for you to call in vehicles to traverse the world of Zeta Halo. This would be kind of a similar like vehicle delivery mechanism that we saw like in Halo 5's Warzone. Zone, but this time in Zeta Halo, you can probably call in a mongoose, it looks like, maybe most likely a warhog, and various other UNSC type vehicles. Now, just over the head of that NPC, there is this oddly lit, like, data pad looking device that's right next to him. I mean, it's emitting a lot of light, however, I feel like it's meaning to catch the player's eye, most likely meaning that this data pad looking thing could be those audio logs that were mentioned previously in the Inside Infinite Development update, which we did cover on this channel. There are going to be a ton of different audio logs scattered throughout the world of Zeta Halo, and this base being something you most likely captured to earn would be something that you could find a data pad in. I'm just hoping that these audio logs are going to be within the campaign, have tell a cohesive story outside of the story itself. Because the audio logs have been known to just be kind of like random instances of just like situations within the world that were recorded. But if these data pads are all kind of linked together to tell an interesting story, like the audio logs we had in ODST, then I'm all for it. And the fourth thing to point out is the beam emitter to the left that is green. Most likely this means that there's some kind of way to indicate that this is a friendly base, you earn this base. We'll see later on in this trailer that there's a red indicator very similar to this to showcase that it is a non-friendly area. Another thing I wanted to point out is the very distant items which are our model which is looks fantastic but when you actually take a time to zoom into on this it doesn't really look like very much of a playable space by one by the low poly count which could just be the effect of just being really far away Two, the density of the trees is very dense much denser than we're seeing in this initial play area. And three, the fog being very thick over there and very much like a flat image almost because it's so far away. And for how large that gap is within the world, it just makes me think that's not going to be a playable space, but it's modeled out to look 
and be more immersive. And if that's the case, it certainly cuts down on the playable space, but the Zaveria still looks huge. And he said this is only a part of the Zeta Halo ring. The next shot, we just kind of pan up towards the ledge right here. And I just wanted to point out in the distance, you can see the lights going through the clouds. It's such, such a smooth transition so much smoother than we saw in the July reveal trailer. If you remember, if you go up the elevator, it has this really choppy kind of sunset kind of effect going on. This looks so much smoother, so much better. Now, when panning over to this cliff side where we saw the banished outpost right here, there are like these body parts that are stuck on sticks to kind of showcase some kind of menacing thing. I don't know, it would just look kind of creepy. Maybe some way to kind of indicate a new kind of encounter that you'll come across within the world. So if you come across like these heads on a stick essentially or something like that, then you know, okay, we're near a base. We need to take some precautions. And talking about taking precautions, here is that banished outpost that we were just talking about right here. Now, a couple things I wanted to point out here. Here, one are these red light emitters. We've seen this previously throughout other screenshots of Halo Infinite, where I've actually seen some green light emitters that look very similar. So I'm thinking that if you see these red light emitters, it's an enemy base. If it emits green, then if you take it over, it will emit green. Now I've heard this is some kind of like marine captured location that was mentioned previously in the development update, which we did cover. I can't go into too much speculation, but it seems like they're trying to keep something captured with that center device thing. And you see this red smoke trail, which is going to be like a visual indicator to you while you're playing the game that just has this long smoke trail out there let you know that hey there's a banished outpost out there go take it out and there's that banished vehicle in the back of the level as well again another presence of that same aerial vehicle making me think this is going to be kind of like some key gameplay loop mechanic that we'll come across within the world of zeta halo next we go into part two of three when it comes to this trailer so we this is a extended part of the discover hope trailer which i actually made like an extended cut where i blended the two trailers together so you guys want to check that out it's on the channel here but interesting thing to showcase right here at the end of the discover hope trailer you see master chief grab an ma-40 assault rifle slap it onto his back jumps out of the pelican here he's actually just kind of standing out there with no m40 and just a sidekick so does something change within the storytelling of this scene right here because we do know that the discover hope trailer is the beginning of halo infinite now as we progress through the second part of the trailer we come across like this ship that you fly into i feel like this is a banished ship one because they're obviously using that crimson red color which is very indicative of the banished so i think we're gonna be flying into a banished ship to start off the game and if you take a look at the pattern on this energy shield right here it matches the same pattern on the shade turret from the 2020 gameplay reveal so this makes me feel like this is 100 a banished ship that you're flying directly into and to me another thing that indicates a banished ship right here is all the mess that's within the hole of this ship and if you take a quick look you see like a unsc logo right there as well so as we do know that the bash are a bit of a scavenging kind of faction within the universe of halo and the last thing i want to point out is that cut that we saw within the discussion with master chief and what's referred to as the weapon it's not actually cortana they refer to her as the weapon that throughout all of the cutscenes that we've seen within halo infinite literally every single cutscene has been a continuous one shot take now why in this scene in particular did we have a cut though the edit does fit very properly with the situation so that could just be the case but i do think that this is some kind of thing that we can show that 343 was hiding some kind of information from us players during this reveal because right before the cut you can see cortana's position where she's kind of looking over her right shoulder right and chief's kind of looking way over his back left shoulder but when the scene cuts cortana is facing chief Chief is kind of looking more forward with his shoulder more directly towards Cortana. Now this certainly could be just a continuity issue, but to me what this indicates is some kind of dialogue that happens between Chief and Cortana that they do not want to showcase right now as some kind of spoiler. So it seems like this scene is going to be a very crucial scene within Halo Infinite. So those are the 14 things I found looking over this trailer guys. We have a ton of more Halo news coming in on the way as well as the July Inside Infinite update that we'll talk about Halo Waypoint which we'll cover extensively on this channel but if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently check out the videos on the screen right here i've been uploading like a madman this week so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out